It's quite rare that a football player's name outside the top five leagues makes headlines all over Europe. However, Viktor Goikeres is an exception, and today we will tell you about the phenomenon of this Viking and which world football giants will sign the forward in the summer. So subscribe to our channel and let's get started! Viktor Goikeres is a Swede, so he started his professional career in his homeland at F. Bramapoikarna. In the 2016-17 season, the 18-year-old striker scored 15 goals and made 9 assists in 35 matches for his club, which caught the attention of bigger teams. Brighton showed the most persistence and signed Viktor in the summer of 2017 for 1 million euros. For the small F. Bramapoikarna, this transfer was the second largest in the club's history at that time, so the Swedes were happy. And the fact that Brighton noticed the forward means that they really saw something in him. The Seagulls have long been famous for their scouting department, which brings top talent to the team every season for relatively little money by English standards. Caicedo, McAllister, White, Bisuma, Mitoma, Buonanotte, Adingra, Ferguson and Tiso. All of them would later shine in the Premier League with Brighton. However, things did not go so well for Goikeres in the south of England. He spent two seasons in the second team of Brighton and sometimes got on the bench in the first team. Then there were a few loans. German St. Pauli and Swansea in the championship. Goikeres played eight matches for Brighton in all this time, in which he scored only one goal. And even that one was the fourth in the Seagulls' crushing victory over Portsmouth in the FA Cup. The real salvation for the Swede was a loan to the championship side Coventry, which he joined in January 2021. Despite the fact that Goikeda scored only three goals in half of the season, they saw the potential in him and decided to buy the striker for 1.2 million euros. And then it started. Victor began to repay his new club for their trust the very next season. During the 2021-22 campaign, he scored 18 goals and made 5 assists in 47 matches in all competitions. Impressive progress compared to his first years in England. But there was more to come. The following season, a small club from the city of Coventry, near Birmingham, with Goikatas at the heart of the attack, broke into a real battle for the Premier League. Victor was unstoppable. That season, he surpassed his previous year's performance and scored 22 goals and provided 12 assists in 50 matches of the season. At the end of the campaign, Coventry made it to the playoffs for promotion to the Premier League, but lost the final to another sensation Luton Town in a penalty shootout. Goikeres became the second highest scorer in the championship, behind only Chuba Akpom. After his club failed to win a promotion to the Premier League, it became clear that they would not be able to keep the striker. Everton and West Ham were actively interested in him, but Victor chose a rather extraordinary option to continue his career. He went to Portugal to play for Sporting, who broke their transfer record to invite the striker. Lisbon paid 21 million euros for the Swede. However, they obviously realized what a monster they would get for this money. And as for Coventry, the club was also satisfied with the transfer. They received almost 20 times more for their striker than they paid for him two years ago. This transfer caused quite a buzz for a number of reasons. Firstly, the fact that a player moves from the championship to the Portuguese league is quite unusual. Secondly, Portuguese clubs rarely pay such big money for a player. And thirdly, a Scandinavian footballer in Portugal is a kind of exotic. Usually when it comes to foreign players in the Primera Liga, it's mostly Latin Americans and Africans. And even if it's someone from Europe, it's usually players from neighboring countries like Spain or France. But having a Swede in sporting was quite surprising. Like this video if you hadn't heard much about Victor Goicaras before this season and now he has become a real discovery for you. Usually, if a player goes to Portugal, the first thing he seeks is to play for Benfica or Porto. Sporting was the third power in the country, and in the first 20 years of the century, they won the Portuguese league only once. All other titles were shared between Benfica and Porto. However, all this changed when Ruben Amorim took over Sporting and won the league in his first full season. Also, in the previous two seasons, Sporting won the Taka de Liga twice, the equivalent of the Carabao Cup in England. It was under Amorim that players such as Pedro Porto, Joao Paulinha, Mateus Nunes or Nuna Mendes shown. So Goiqueras knew very well the kind of coach he was going to. Besides, Sporting were planning to fight for the title again. At the new club, Victor started scoring right away. He got a brace in his debut match and hasn't stopped since. Currently, he has an impressive 36 goals and 14 assists in 39 games in all tournaments. This is 1.3 goal contributions per match. Just wow! 
In terms of gold contributions, Goicata's ranks first in the top 10 European leagues, beating even Harry Kane and Kylian Mbappe. Moreover, he became the first sporting player since Bruno Fernandes to reach the 50 gold contributions mark in the season. But it's still only March, so Victor can improve his numbers significantly. As for sporting, they are currently at the top of the Portuguese league, one point ahead of Benfica with a game in hand, so they have every chance of winning the title again. Of course, having such a crazy striker helps a lot in achieving this goal. As for Goicatas' qualities, they may remind you of somebody else. Victor is a powerful striker who has great speed and is almost impossible to stop when he accelerates. He has an extremely powerful shot, a well-coordinated body, which combined with his size makes him a real nightmare for defenders. He has excellent weak left foot and can shoot with it so well that it may seem that he is actually left-footed. Victor's heading is also at a high level. Yeah, Goicatis' style is very similar to Erling Haaland's. It turns out that now, each of the three largest Scandinavian countries has an incredible century forward. Haaland in Norway, Hoyland in Denmark, and Goicatis in Sweden. All three of them not only represent Scandinavia, but also have similar style of play. It seems that we have entered an era where these types of strikers are coming to the fore again. However, what makes Goicatis stand out from even Haaland? is his ability not only to score but also to assist his teammates. This season he already has 14 assists, Erling has never had more than 12 in a season in his career. No matter how the current campaign ends, it'll be Goicatas' first and last with Sporting. Top clubs have already started hunting for him, and the Portuguese will not be able to do anything about it. Chelsea, Manchester United, Newcastle, Arsenal, Milan and PSG. This is an incomplete list of clubs that want to sign the suite for next season. Wow. Of course, the favorites are the English Premier League clubs. There is no doubt that Goicatis will move somewhere, primarily because this striker's contract contains a 100 million euros release clause. He will only leave if someone pays the buyout clause, otherwise he will stay. Sporting coach Ruben Amorim said back in the winter. At the time it sounded like a strong no to everyone who wanted to get the player in the winter, but now, looking at the players' goal-scoring form, the Portuguese club's bosses may be biting their elbows. Currently, this amount of money is in the buyer's favor, since otherwise Sporting could have gotten more for him. There is no doubt that there are up to a dozen clubs in Europe willing to pay 100 million for the 25-year-old striker. Currently, Arsenal are leading the race. This is reported by several outlets such as Taxport and the Portuguese Correio da Mania. In fact, this transfer looks very natural. The Gunners need a lethal striker to become a global powerhouse, and Victor can be just that. So we are waiting for the summer transfer window. The battle for Goicatis will be one of the main topics of it. Friends, write in the comments what club you would like to see Goicatis join and whether you believe he will become one of the best century forwards in Europe in the few years. Watch our other videos and take care of yourself. Bye bye.